All right, welcome back to the shop. So today, got a little thing here. Going to work on the old clod hoppers from work. Had a blowout, and what happened here? Uh, about a week or two ago, I took out my uh, laces. They frayed, broke. Yeah, that happens. Got a whole nother set. Put them in. And they frayed and broke at the same spot again. So it became, huh? What gives? So I got looking, and there we go, I think we can see it, right there, there's a mark on the grommet, that looks like a nice little razor edge right there. So, what we could do is, uh, we could file it, here with a file, we got a nice round file, we could get that in there and try and file it but you know what's the fun and what fun in that when we could go with a carbide burr and try and do the same thing so what the heck why not right Let's screw around here with some tools see if we can't make the boot worse uh, I'm gonna try and go slow my worst case scenario is I'm gonna try and rotate this thing I don't know, maybe that's what I should try and do, is just rotate this, but I'm going to see if I can smooth that out. I think they're probably a little thin, so I don't want to go through it, but I just want to kind of round off the edge a little. So, here we go with the burr. Okay, so I can see what's going on there. I'm going to have to rotate it because that's actually worn through the grommet. There's no smoothing that out. So we'll have to try and rotate that or we're just going to keep cutting that. I've never worn through the grommets on a pair of boots before, so that's kind of interesting. Looks like a few of these are about ready to go through. The old laces on these things were pretty, pretty heavy duty and I think they... They probably cut through these grommets. So uh, we'll be back in a bit. Okay, and we're back. So what I did here, you can see I got that spun. The rub through spot is right here. And I have a nice good fresh spot right there to start wearing again. I didn't spin it overly far. And what I did was I got an end nipper, flush cutter, whatever you want to call it, and I just very gently hooked the underside of these bent over tabs on the grommet on the inside. Got them all that they're just lifted up, like you can see, and I can spin this thing actually by hand in the leather. So I got that spun to a new spot there, this isn't going to hurt anything. It's still connected to everything. It's not going to break. And uh, I think what we could do is just come in here and squeeze these with a pair of pliers and reset them just like that. Just like that. So there we go. I think we uh, cobbled this one back together and we should be good for another little while and we shouldn't be ripping up our new laces now hopefully that'll work out if it goes bad again maybe we'll have another update so there you go just a quick playing around video in the shop hopefully you guys enjoyed maybe it'll help somebody out um, it wasn't very hard to do really all it took was a flush cutter like this can pick these up I don't know for around five ten bucks so if your boots cutting your laces maybe that's something you can do to fix it up get a little more life out of them thanks for watching have a great day
Okay, so some bonus round footage here. Also had an issue with another boot. This time it's from the Better 7 8 And she says that her boot blew out a grommet. Here you can see it came out. We're going to see if we can fix that one as well. So here we go. We got the grommet out. You can see it's still largely opened up so we'll take the needle nose around this and try and close it up as best we can see if we can't push it back through the leather and then uh, try and open her back up you get the idea what we're doing here just walking this around trying to fix these in create a way to push them in I'm, they're really thin hoping I don't break any off so we'll do that I'll get this into the leather here and we'll be back okay so here we go we got her back in the leather um, that did not go in the easiest so that's a good sign wasn't like a hot dog in a hallway or anything like that so I think we'll probably be good now what I'm gonna do is I've already squeezed this uh, with my pliers just grabbing it all the way around and squeezing the back side of leather to, to get this as set as possible and that's pretty well in there you can see we have a decent amount so now I'm just gonna loosely bend some of these tabs over walk it around and we'll be back So I have them all started over here, and I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to bend over these end two here, like that, and then I'm going to reach straight across and set this other side without setting the uh, side ones, even though I partially set the side ones there, just to try and get as much surface area as possible on that grommet. So there we go. We got it nicely splayed out there. In fact, I might have gotten it. Well, I don't know if I got it better set than the factory, but because uh, they use the right tools, this is probably not the right tool to do the job here. But I think it's going to work for us. It's better than nothing. And we got a grommet back in there. We should be good to go. Check another one off the old list there. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.